Hello everyone, this is Mark van de Wettering. Uh, today I just wanted to do a little programming experiment trying to use an oscilloscope as a display output device. So, um, the technique I used was a little bit bizarre. I took some font outlines from Postscript, uh, used their built-in path stuff to uh, convert those into line segments, and then wrote a program to actually generate a sound file, which could then be played on my laptop, which is sitting down here on the ground, and uh, and then played through the sound card into the XY inputs on my oscilloscope and then it draws it out and um, I've obviously got a bug there's still some wonkiness in terms of exactly what uh, it's displaying but uh, it actually worked sort of better than I had a <laughs> chance of hoping given that I didn't do much time in on it anyway um, I was just sort of motivated by the you were uh, your scope demo, uh, which sort of halfway works well on this, doesn't really, my scope isn't really quite good enough. And I was also thinking about the oscilloscope clock kit that SparkFun puts out. So I just thought I'd try and make a display that, that worked uh, in this way. Um, it does sort of work uh, when it goes back to a dot, it's just the sound file looping and restarting. And uh, I thought that it, it sort of works. And uh, I just thought I'd like to share. This has been Mark Van Wettering of the Brainwagon blog. I'll put some more details on a blog post. Thanks. Bye.